So, here we are. Yet again. Oh shit, I've made that a bit loud, eh? Oh god. Right, wait, I'll fade. Dave Listen. Lee Travis. You're like Roz from Friends. Not Friends. Roz from Fre- Fraser. Fraser. I don't like how the Fraser... It should be Fraser. Why Fraser? Well, isn't that... I don't know. Fucking bullshit. I American. liked that programme. It was good. I liked that. It I was love good. how Marty... Yeah. ...begins as like a kind of Korean veteran tough guy cop. Yeah. And by the last series, he's just like mincing about... <laughs> Playing in the piano because he was gay in real yes, life. Yeah, F- Fraser's the only straight man in that whole enterprise. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good show. I like Fraser, that. Fraser, if you add up all the women he's had, oh, God, oh he goes Fraser. he's a dick swinging monster, hairy beast, just powered on cocaine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think his chest hair will be exceptionally curly. Well, he had a tendency to his top off, he looked like a big Swede. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of turned up, not a race. I, I do, I do, <laughs> I do like him though. I, I do yeah, like. Yeah, he's the whole. He's, a, he's an absolute turd. Is he? Is In he not a nice life, person? Oh, have you not? No, I've not. I've, I've Let's that. just say he goes against the the flow of Hollywood. That's all, right, all I'm okay. going to say. Oh, his, he's simply right wing. Then he's 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 got a touch of the void. Oh, a touch of the void. <laughs> touch of the void. I'm. I uh, we never discuss anything. But no, we don't because we're not. Did politi- I hear a pop there? Mm, that was my oh. shoulder. Okay. Uh, th- w- yeah, we're not political animals. We're not political, and I I really don't non-po- care. Non political. I used to be. I, I think you go through a stage. The in your you youth, get the whole thing's pointless. And I just go. I've actually done what I, I, I remember my dad doing. He's going. This all happened before. This yeah. is all the same thing. Yeah, it's like flares. And it's when very, are flares coming back? They're oh, due a return. Wait, wait, hold on, my partner. Bought a pair just last week. Yeah, but she goes out with you. Well, she's in the the general area when she's I'm following the, her. She's seen the state of your feet, and she's trying to keep her feet nice and oxygenated. Let the air in about your ankles. My feet are terrible. I'll tell you something though. You gave her the greatest compliment last week. What did I say? Ever. You said she was chaotic. Oh yeah. She giggled. Oh giggled. Oh my god. She giggled chaotically. She she does. It's like a. She's sitting very calm, oh. and if you say something funny, she goes ha like that really aggressively, oh, Jesus really fast. It she makes, you she jump. makes a face like when my granddad put a, a spoon of mustard up a cat's arse. Same Supri- thing. Same thing. Same bloody thing. Surprise, anger, I was, yet pleasure. I've been on Twitter the other day. One of our followers. Oh, oh. They never. No, oh. but she said that titty bums not used much. Titty bum. Titty bum, titty bum, titty bum, titty bum, bum bum, titty bum, titty bum. Is that only reference to titty bum? Titty bum, titty bum, bum bum, titty bum, titty bum, bum bum. I like saying that. That's my new mantra. You know when you have to wash your hands, you say happy birthday. Titty bum. I do titty bum. And your balls. And my balls. Oh, you've set something off with this. Wash your balls. Titty ball, ball, balls. Titty ball. I'll be honest. I've used so much soap on my balls. The mainly soap now. Mainly soap. Well, I I have been like um, a, like a pebble in the beach. Do you smooth. know at the start of this? Your, your hands would go funny with the hand sanitizer. Never, I never had that problem. I've mine's got very thick skin in my mine's hands. went dry. Because I'm what's called a work, I'm a working man, but you've got the soft, the feet hands of a hold George on, and Dandy. Hold on. Right, I'm a leather worker. You don't get more manly than that. You're not an, at all. You're an artist. It's not even real. I'm a sculptor. That's a different thing. It's not even real. You leather workers are like Spandau Bali. Sculptors <sighs> are like I'm trying to think of a Butch eighties band. I'm the commune arts. Oh Jesus Christ, no. yeah, the commune. Wait, hold I'm on. Dexys. No, I'm, Dexys Midnight Runners. Have you noticed that a lot of people in this building have started dressing like Dexys Midnight Runners? And I'm not saying who, the people downstairs. They're all looking like Dexys Midnight Runners. Oh, Christ They've got they that are. dirty like a horror can the kind of all Necker- the trousers are three quarter length. The kind of neckerchief you put in an old dog. That's what they're wearing. A dog came in here the other day and it had stitches and it was covered up with a neckerchief. I, I and really, they were wearing the I same really, thing. I don't like <gasps> clo- dog clothes. Hold I like on. to see my dogs naked. This as dog, you know. yeah, this dog had to wear a scarf because it had stitches. But but the person who owns this dog, a and scarf. I'm not going to say who. Mm-hmm. What right? kind of dog was it? It was a lurcher, so that should mm. narrow it down. Mm-hmm. She. 
is an artist, and I'm not going to say who. Not just, sure. Right. We've discovered she's the phantom shiter that goes in the men to- men's toilets, takes a huge turd, and doesn't flush it. How did you come to that? DNA testing? Eh? I assumed a lot. I saw her in the area at the time. There was a guy at my work, mm-hmm. and he made a point of shitting in the ladies' toilets. That's a sex I thing. I said to him, what are you doing that for? He says, oh, women's toilets are nicer. I'm like, well, they no. might have been, but you've been shitting in them. Yeah. Well, I used to clean toilets. Oh, so I've cleaned many a toilet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can assure you, women, the women are filthy bastards. They're fucking disgusting. Filthy bastards. Yeah. Filthy bastards. I told you the time I was working as a doorman. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, end of the night, a, a lassie staggered out, miniskirt on, blue token, pew, out mm-hmm. she went. And you have to check the toilets because op- often people sound asleep in them. Oh, God almighty. And opened the door. And there was shite Morse code. <laughs> dot dash, dot dot dash. She'd done her makeup and then shit on the way out. I've seen the, this. I yeah. have seen this. Yeah. Um, I thought, you classy bitch. Yeah. You classy bitch. That takes. You Is it not split in two with a thong? Or did it just? Did she just? She was from Fife. Knickerless. knickerless. Nobody yeah. wears knickers. I've been on bus stops and the women in their eighties, no knickers. <laughs> no knickers. It's true. It's true. No knickers. Fife People from say. Fife. Oof. Oh my god. I'm going to use. I'm going to say one word. Kirkcaldy. Oh, there's a place called Scotland Well. Oh my god. Dumfermline. Oh Dumfermline. I used oh. to. Yeah, I used to go there. Um, Have you been to Cowdenbeath? Cowdenbeath, um, I used to go, now, Cowdenbeath, the bus stop there in the sort of little the shopping centre, they do, have you seen it, it's like this, you like it, it's brutalist concrete, oh, yeah. you, it's, you have to see it to believe it, it's the yeah. ugliest thing ever. They tried to stop the fifers drinking. Oh, that's going to work. No, so there was like, um, there was like alcohol free pubs, I think they were called like Gothenburgs or something, right, they okay. were like, they served like. Iron brew and coffee. <laughs> it didn't really take no. off. There's a place called Moss Morn. Have you ever been there? No. It's like a chemical petrol place. Fucking don't know. But it's like a big Rubik's Cube made out of like tubing. Mm-hmm. And periodically a, a whistle used to go off saying there was some kind of leak. <laughs> and then call the folk for kind of used to go under their beds. Oh, You're wonderful. not safe from gas under your beds. I don't imagine so. No. I used to go down there. Um, uh, to surf? No, it was. Now, where was it? It was this place called. I, oh, God, I can't even remember, but it was stock car racing in that area. Oh, Christ, they, that's in Cowden Beath. The, Cowden football, Beath. The, the, the Cowden Beath football team, I don't know much about football, they're called the Blue Brazil. Well, that's. But they had stock car racing as the well. The stock car racing, yeah. I would go there, and I was in a film there. Oh, oh God. And. Because uh, I was uh, playing bands and Were you the again. kid from that thing about Don't Talk to Strangers? That's me Charlie says Yeah Were you Charlie? I talked You were Charlie <laughs> Were you the guy that got his frisbee out of the power station? Oh my god That yeah. poor <laughs> wee bat He didn't last His socks caught fire They did <laughs> <laughs> No but I was in a film I had no Do you think those no things words. ever saved kids? Um, no We have face like yours You don't really need to speak no, I did. I know he spoke just, to he, me. No, you you start taking it personally after a while. No, do you? And no. the pederasts ignore you. <laughs> Even yeah, there was that film in Dundee. I've never seen it. Would you watch it? Schemers. Oh fuck no! That's a, that was a know, Ponzi scheme. Yeah, you know what annoyed me with that? Mm-hmm. The guy said, "Well, being from an estate in Dundee myself, I uh, we were known <laughs> as schemers." And you're like, "No, you weren't. You're known as a schemy bastard." Schemy bastard. You're yeah. a schemy bastard. No one's ever said schemer. schemers. And it's like, yeah, it's like we grew up uh, struggling for money and whatnot. <laughs> You're like, can't fuck off. Dundee, you know? Dundee, there's guys who, who think their, their, their lives are so fascinating, they've written books. And oh. there's a guy that came into the shop in one of the places I went, and he had this book. Uh-huh. And it was in three vol. he'd written three books about his life, and it was absolute pish. But that's what Just I want pish. to read. No, but it wasn't even... It, it Good, was just, bad. It was, it was just... He, nothing of note had happened to him. Right. And he'd fucked off somewhere to some country and he'd come back. One of these guys that holds on to their accents. Been away oh, for right. 50 years. And uh, they come back as gadgy as ever. They're just the same. You're like, mm-hmm. what have you fucking learned? You might as well have just stayed here. Oh, I assimilate quick. Oh, quick, you have to. My time in the you, States... Um, oh, yeah, good, great. It wasn't this... It, it was weird. I was doing like... I bet you were like Matt Houston. 
Who's that? Remember Playboy Detective, Matt Houston? No. Oh, Christ. 80s detective, moustache. He was more Selick than Selick. Goodness, I'm going to have to look into this. He was like Tom Selick if Tom Selick had had an injection of testosterone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, You know what I mean? I've got to see this. Yeah. He flew up in a helicopter. No. Christ, come on, man. sounds great. I started, not my accent would change, just individual words. And it was the word that was maybe new to me. Uh Uh-huh. So if someone said you were Henri, like a wido, Mm -hmm. I would do that in an American accent very quickly. I just picked it up instantly. Yeah, social chameleon. Uh, no, I hate people, and I'm antisocial. But mm-hmm. I think that's a very Scottish thing. When you you get other communities going around the mm-hmm. world, they'll keep their accent. But when you get Scottish people anywhere, in the world, instantly they just assimilate. They, they're like, "Thank fuck." It's, get, a, it's an old coat you they, want to throw off. They abandon it. Well, you'll understand this mm-hmm. oh, when I don't you understand hear much, but. like if there's an interview with someone from Dundee on mm. the TV. And you were on the TV recently. People can look for you on the Antiques Roadshow. Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, you People were on don't it. believe me, but I was on You that. were on it trying to sell a fucking pineapple? It was a Coco de Mer. <laughs> it was a fucking old pineapple you found that you it were was, trying to flog it. It was Coco de Mer. It's worth £2,000. Is that what they said? £2,000. Because I haven't seen it. Two thousand. Well, you're just jealous because I've got a giant coconut worth £2,000. Oh from God. the Seychelles. If anybody <sighs> wants it. Are you selling it? Three thousand pounds. Oh, because it's been a while ago since the. <laughs> it TV. was over. It was over a year ago. Yeah. A year ago, you go, I love that thing. I love to stroke it. Yeah, I'm sure people just. It looks want like that. a big ear. They what? call it the bum nut. So why did you even think of it as well, being expensive? What happened there? The story. Have I told you the story? No. When eBay, remember back in the day, eBay was not the beast it now is. It used to just mm-hmm. be you could buy jar lids and pieces of string. Okay. I liked it then. Yeah. A, somebody was selling a, this nut. And you right. can always... eBay was good because it was terrible photographs. Right, yeah. And nobody was interested in anything. And I bought it for like a fiver. Okay. And it came up in a box with those like a polystyrene peanuts. All right. And I thought, wonderful. And I've had it out ever since. But I knew on Antiques Roadshow... I've, for years I've been telling people it washed up in Arbroath Beach. Right, okay. For years. Uh-huh. I thought that's a bit extreme even for Antiques Rojo. So I said that I'd found it in my attic wrapped up in tarpaulin. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. What is this? I knew exactly what it was. Right, okay. You know, I'm sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> but what's good about it, it's a bum on one side and then it's a Vegeta on the other. Oh, And it's got pubes. Christ. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Someone made this? No, it's a, it's a naturally occurring nut. With pubes. With pubes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Coconuts are quite hairy, though. I'm going to have to look this up on uh, YouTube, because someone's put it up, no doubt. You kind of get them now, but Seychelles, you used to get them as a tourist thing. The Seychelles, they're endangered now. Okay. You can't get them. I believe Harry and Meghan were gifted one a number of years ago from the Seychelles. They're like a treasure now. And you've got one. I've got one. Four thousand pounds to anyone that wants it. So, the time we've been speaking, five thousand pounds. Oh God, six thousand pounds is a bargain. Seven thousand pounds. I tell you, some of our listeners, I I wouldn't have liked. I wouldn't sell it to them. No, because I like that nut, and I yeah, hate they to would, think they would stain it. It would never be shiny after they'd had a go of it. <laughs> a lesser man would have drilled a hole in it and filled it with butter. Not me. So I heard. I never saw it. I'm going to have to look for it. But I heard you were a bit of a natural on TV. I came across, I well, the reason I was on it... Was I, I heard you came across as very upright. I did, I was very, <laughs> very strict. The um, I love Antiques Roadshow. I always loved it. And I just wanted to see behind the scenes. So that's the only reason I was on. But I was queuing up. Dundonians basically had Victorian pushchairs for their bairns. Yeah. And old shitey prints. That's it. That was it. Everybody in the queue next to me, just utter shite. And people were laughing at me like, what's that? Can you mean? Yeah. What a pile of garbage. And the one guy said to me, oh, fuck, what's that, a fiver? And he saw me getting it. Oh, well, he definitely watched it on TV as he well. He was fuming. <gasps> but I saw one family by me, and the patriarch of the family, he had something in a box, and he was clutching it to his chest. Oh, important. Like it was expensive. This is an heirloom. And they were all around it like... Mm-hmm. Like like a herd of cattle, just protecting, like buffalo, yeah. protect, protect the treasure. 
and they were right ahead of me and I saw them oh, okay. oh he went over a curb and I saw him oh, oh. he'd almost dropped it and he's like clutching oh, it God. to his chest and when he had to have a fag he passed it gently to his wife and she held it to her bosom and they all circled tighter and they were watching me like you better not steal my treasure I saw them getting speaking to the expert and I could see the expert going five pounds <laughs> and they were just like fuck it <laughs> just <laughs> threw it just threw it <laughs> Yoinked it in the water <laughs> man, A pal of mine A pal of mine He ate His mum and dad had a Had crockery mm-hmm. And it was brought to their iris extraction It was brought of course From the old country And they hollow a ship Yeah And it was the treasure And when they sold that It was going to pay All their university mm-hmm. bills Everything And they took it to Auntie's Rojo And they said a tenner Oh god But can they protect They never used it They might mm-hmm. as well Been eating toasties off it For years But no it was in the It was in the cupboard Well I know someone mm-hmm. Who uh, um, a couple of years ago, our father died, oh. and he left a box to his two grandsons, and they're family members. I won't say who, but they um, didn't know it was in this box. So was the boys got collection? the box, opened it up, and it was smaller boxes, unopened Rolexes. He'd oh. been collecting them. Oh wow! Um, now. She didn't say much about it, but there was names like Oyster and oh, no, good right, stuff. and they took them to a dealer, mm-hmm. and they're saying, "Are you keeping these?" And they're like, "Well, no, because no, we don't no, really no, know them." No. They says, "Well, you've just bought yourself a house." Oh my! And they didn't say how much, but she reckons both the boys will be able to afford flats from this, and they didn't even know he had them. No, but the, the, you could look at that. Oh, that's, yeah. that's wonderful because he's provided for his family. But mm-hmm. he's had that all. They'll have gone through tough times, and he's like that. He's, so he actually, he's a cunt. Well, he had nothing to do with them for right. Okay, and in, in his final years, mm-hmm. they sort of reconnected. Right. Okay, and this. So yeah, if that never happened, they wouldn't have got a thing. But yeah. the, both those boys now mm-hmm. have a, I don't know how much, but a hell of a lot of money, and it's I'm not as really much. Not as them. much as my nut, but not as much as your fifteen thousand pound nut. Twenty five thousand pound. It's a bargain. <laughs> oh, God, I can see them. I'm. I take PayPal. Oh yeah. They could all start a bidding war. Send me the money. A bidding. Now I'm no expert financially, so now, most of that would get spent. We need to discuss something because. Um, by the time this comes out, it mm-hmm. might actually be up and running. But we are putting together a website, and it's a folk in Scotland website. You remember when Channel Five started? It was really shit. Yeah, we're aiming for that. Hopefully, not Channel Five now, because Channel Five's got all creatures great and small now. Oh, who cares? One, oh, oh, I hate that soulless shit. bastard. Fucking animals. Veterinary. 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 Oh, it's rubbish. Guys, don't we, care. do you not like a good fist up a cow's arse? Oh, oh God, I would no. watch that all day. It should be there just this. I'll, I'll put it. No, I'm not putting it there. That will be. Now, this is where we're going. There will be mm-hmm. podcasts on that that mm. they say things. We'll say things on that we can't say here. We'll be able, because we censor ourselves quite heavily. Oh, God almighty, yeah. We're always biting my tongue. Oh, you I'll bite my to. tongue, I bite your tongue. Please don't. No. God, you've got a right gingivitis as well. Yeah. But Jesus. we on the new website, uh-huh. there'll be a members area for all the members. For just lurking about. <laughs> for lurking. And there'll be lots of things like Discord. Like a foyer. And, yes. And you can wander about, meet oh, people. There'll be roasted peanuts. Well, let's not go too far. There'll be dirty, a couple of dirty chairs. A that, chaise long. Oh, yes. Maybe a... Have you seen that chair that Prince King George used to have? It was his cunnilingus chair. Oh, my We'll have one God. of them. That's uh, too much effort. Okay. Too much effort. We're selling this. Well, the, will the, there be a plunge pool? No, there won't mm. be a, a plunge pool. There'll be, uh, and if you're a member, you'll get discounts to our merch. We're getting merch. Uh huh. We're getting all sorts of things, and there'll be lots of experiences. Is merch used underwear? No, this is where I was going with this. Because oh. I as, can put a lot of interesting said, patterns. I know. On I know you can. You're a sculptor. And there will be I've got a 3D items that you make. In my bum. My oh bum's my. a 3D printer. Please don't. <laughs> you will <laughs> the first. It's all analog, man. You will be having some items for sale. Oh, not my nut. Not your nut. No. But there'll be items for sale that you created. I could take a picture of my nut and sign it for them. I think that's a fantastic there you thing. Go. Everyone will want that. I'll pose. You know, Helen. Ten pound well spent. I was spent. about to say Helen Keller, but that's the deaf lassie. Who was the lassie from <laughs> the Perfumous Affair? Um, wasn't it Keller? Christine. Christine Keeler. 
You know that famous picture she took where she's straddling a chair? You know what? I'll I, do that with a nut. Now, things I might, can take a picture, but I refuse things to. Things might hang. I don't want Hang below the nut. Oh, At my no, age, things would. dangle. Do they? Oh, God, have, yeah. Have they gone? During the day, it's like a pendulum on a clock. I'm, I'm dreading mine. I haven't done that yet. Mines are still up there. You but never I have fully, that. You just never fully what's dropped. What's it called? It's oh, I can't remember, but it's where I've got enlarged veins in the testicle. It makes my sperm absolutely dry. Aye. And uh, they, so there's extra weight there. It's like a drunk falling down the stairs. Yes. They just tumble out. So um, you know when a, a, a lagoon dries and his fish just flopping. Yeah. That's yeah. your sperm. That I've is. seen actually them under the microscope. It was awful. They fight with each other. Well, not these. They were all just <laughs> no, the very pacifists. Lith- it was described as lethargic. Lethargic. <laughs> 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 so fuck. <laughs> and this is because of my. Uh, I've got extra manly veins in my testicles. You've got basically tiny cock but big veins on the cock. Oh, it's all balls. Is down that there. vein or cock? I'm not yeah, quite I don't sure. Know. It's mainly skin. All veins. There's something in there. It's got a name. I forget what it is. Oh, I'm God. sure our oh. um, uh, listeners will publicly oh, yeah. say what it is on Twitter. This is the kind of content they're signing up this for. Is, yeah, anyway, the, the website, <laughs> this is it, right? Oh. And I'll write that down. There's going to be bios. There's going to be... Now, uh-huh, bios. Goron is absolutely a wonderful poet. And short stories. And something I'm going to request. The play that you did at school... Oh, a Vulcan Lord of Fire. Vulcan Lord of Fire. Can I have the script for that, and can that go on the website? Well, actually, it's probably d- it. it. <laughs> there was less of a script. It was more a kind of instinctive performance. <laughs> it was more like there was elements of dance. There was music. <laughs> it was like a one man show. I almost spat. Yeah, one man show. <laughs> oh my god! I, I don't have the costume. I don't think it. Would f- it was made out of black bags and crepe paper. Oh, that's and probably there was a, gone. There was a wind element. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I, oh could you rewrite it? Oh, uh, yeah, I could. That would be great. And now you're going to get access where you, the viewer, the listener, can take... Sorry, what's it called? Vulcan Lord of Fire. Vulcan Lord of Fire. Vulcan Lord of Fire. And you can put on your own show. Yeah, it'll be Vulcan Lord of Fire 2020 Remix. We can get everyone to do a little part from it and then edit it together into a whole show. Oh God, but they're not as good looking as me, these people No, they're not Because I'm Dundee handsome These fuckers, I don't know where they've been There's some of them from Sheffield You're a ten amongst ones Yeah Yeah, but they, they'll they be fine They can fetch me coffee Because I'm the, the talent Anyway That's something you could do oh, You could put on your own play That's oh, written by the great I can put a webcam in my on. bath Please don't Please An don't. underwater one. You took a picture of yourself in the bath the other week. Oh. Every I showed everyone, and they were angry at There's me. There's been a bit of response to that. Yeah, That's well, I'll do good. each week. The car. There was you a know, lot of blood. You know when you used to, <laughs> you try and download an image back in the early days of the internet, and it would take a while to load. Yeah, I'll do one of them. It, just cre- <laughs> it creeps Christ. down, millimeter by millimeter. Th- this website's going to be the very last bit. Will I'd... be just scrotum be- beneath my feet. Because I uh, <laughs> <laughs> to your a website. Oh God! It's going to be great. There's going to be um, uh, galleries of pictures of us. You can download them. You We've can got Tony Hart involved. Scream! <laughs> yeah. Who was Tony Hart's? The guy's mate, Mister Something. He was the, he was the Johnny. Yeah, I can't remember his name. He, I loved him. He was great. One time, like I, I love Tony Hart. Then Mister Plunkett or some Mister. Jones or something. I did something. But he'd always come in and sweep up. Yeah. He's a comedy character. Yeah. But years later, I was having a joint when I was at university and I turned on the TV at like three in the morning. One of these weird shows that's through the night. Okay. And it was him out in London following a group of diner rod people about cleaning sewers. What? Yeah, he'd got himself a wee. But it was live or something, if I remember correctly. <laughs> live sewer cleaning. <laughs> live sewer cleaning. God, that's where we're heading, man. If, if only. We, if we play our cards right with this website. that's metropolitan. We're okay. regional. We're like oh, Grampian. we've got the accent. This mm. is, we're far more important now. So. Yeah. With that HS2 coming up, we're, oh, we're mainlined right into the seat of power. This is it. Mm-hmm. This is it. This so, is our time. This is our time. This is where we strike. I still don't believe anybody's... I think this is an elaborate joke you're pulling in me. (laughs) 
and I think nobody's actually watching or listening. <laughs> and everybody that interacts with me on Twitter is just you. I've spent thousands, yeah, man, <laughs> for this joke. And the lather of hoax. <laughs> This has been going on for like a year now. I'm like, F-. yeah. Dude, one day you're just gonna go, ta da! <laughs> it's not even going. He's got into my phone. I'm not even on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're capable of that shit. So the website, it's going to be great. Mm. Um, now I'll collate everything because what we're planning to do, I was going to take a collate look at the videos. Or colitis. Colitis. Collate or colitis. We're going to colitis everything into the website. Uh-huh. And you'll have the podcast there, you'll have the videos there. They'll all be mm. slightly delayed. They'll be behind the initial podcast right, release. Okay. Uh, there'll be extra stuff. Is this premium content? Premium oh. content. You'll pay a couple of dollars a month, mm-hmm. right? A couple of pounds, whatever. The things you'll do for a couple of dollars. That's it. And You've then, told me your American... That's, or, that's past. That's the past. Your that, American odyssey. That's a different Mainly Derek. odd. Very odd. That's a different Derek. It's a different time. You were a young buck. It's yeah. when I had a my, young... not a breakdown, but I had a moment. I like to call it my moment. Your Vegas years. I was going to Vegas to get married. <laughs> I was. We well, had the tickets and everything, right? So we're going to get married and then get divorced on the same day. Just stick around. Oh, for God. And you get on at me about Vulcan Lord of Fire in my so, youth. Hold on, hold on. It, it worked out fine because the girl I was with said, why do we need to get divorced? So I changed the tickets to Chicago, went to the Art Institute, saw the biggest ever collection of Toulouse-Lautrec. It was wonderful. Have you ever seen the pictures of Toulouse-Lautrec shitting on a beach? <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't have far to drop it. No. <laughs> but he, he, was a, he, was, he, was, he was like French aristocracy. Yes. But I think he injured himself. That's why his legs never grew. He wasn't born like that. There was a oh, right, injury. Okay. But he's, he was like a bohemian dude. Oh, very, Party, very much so, yeah. Like the company of... Prostitutes. And prostitutes. Lots and of prostitutes. Lots and lots of prostitutes. But his family kind of disowned them a wee bit, but he did have money. But he, they, there's like pictures, and it's like, it's it's so modern, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah. And they just photographed them shitting on the beach, and you see the wee jobby, and it's on the beach, and he's laughing. Oh, yeah. that's... People think... I love it when people think nobody swore back in the day. Can war films made you think everybody's getting shot? Gently and not swearing. Well, this is this is uh, humans uh, haven't changed. That that film that Peter Jackson done about World War One, oh. which is fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. All they said that you fucking fucking fuck 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 fuck. That's all they said. You do swear when you're getting shot. Fuck up. fuck fuck. All yeah, they said we're constantly. Spandaus fucking mm-hmm. zapping at you. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's all and they all said. That, they were saying World War. They're always going about Vera fucking Lynn. Oh. Now, if I had, if I thought I could be killed at any minute, mm-hmm. I'm not even having a choky wank over Vera Lynn. No. She's a bit... Joan Crawford. No, no, but back then there must have been hotter women. What can I mean? Of course D- there were. Dirtier, yeah. more substantial more women. Pendular? Yeah, you don't... Areas. Can you don't want some lassie who looks like she's got a buttoned up anus? <laughs> <laughs> but humans, they just, yeah... It's just, well, it's like, I love, you know, and it's... The, the the greatest generation and, and youth these days they don't know anything and then all the pictures of the guys in war they're standing on tanks pretending the guns they're cock yeah they're just dicking around because okay. they're young they're just but they'd been the, the brothels across there in Italy they just they'd been going like the unbelievable yeah, yeah they're all worn out everybody <laughs> <laughs> people just young guys oh I don't know we have a tendency to just no, no, clean, clean everything up for consumption. It's like the Romans. Every mm-hmm. second Roman pot was somebody with a big shreve, like shagging a deer or an elephant. That's it. They were just constantly Ken shagging. Pompey was just the party town. It mm-hmm. was like it was like forfar. Oh, God. there was so much debauchery. Oh, forfar. The Romans used to gu- guzzle food, then eat little bits of powdered glass to make themselves vomit, so they that's could weird. eat again. That's, uh, that's like an old. That's like that Chinese oh, buffet in Dundee. Oh God, that's not a good place. They don't accept credit cards. I like the yeah. I like those <laughs> mango only. puddings. Can those mango set puddings? I no, think I ate I'm about twenty sure. of them. They're just a little bowl with mango jelly in them. No, we never no, had one I've of never them. Had that. A wee mango jelly. I don't like eating in a restaurant. I really dislike. What it. you actually mean is you've been people have you've been thrown out because other people don't like the sight of you eating the restaurant. I actually was thrown out of a restaurant, once. Mm-hmm. but anyway, that's uh, that's a complex story. I'll keep out of that one. That's for the website. Oh, and now I wasn't the fat guy that jumped in the pond the other week in uh, the Jahan. I'd like to know what happened to him. He'd get in a lot of trouble for a that. A goldfish swam up his anus. It's still oh, up there. God 
But it's growing. My dad swears blind that when he was young, mm-hmm. there was a tale. It was in India, a woman had went down to the Ganges to have a drink, mm-hmm. and she'd swallowed a snake egg. Yeah. And the snake had hatched in her esophagus. Yeah. And it used to go, <laughs> when it was one food, <laughs> and she'd feed it. Uh-huh. You think that <laughs> was a tale. Although, the other day, I saw um, someone getting a snake pulled out of their throat. It crawled down their throat when they were asleep. And you see them in surgery pulling it out. Was it alive? It's like fucking... No, I think it was dead, but it's like three foot long. Jesus Just right Christ. Out of, Have you seen them terrible. taking a tapeworm out? That folks' arsehole. Yes, that was how you used to lose weight, wasn't it? Mariah Ke- Callis. Yeah, that's how she done it. She had a tapeworm just to keep weight down, yeah. But you have to put it around a pencil and slowly unwind it. it. Your because then it moves Is that with not you. a guinea worm? No, There's a thing I that pops you out your leg and you have to slowly twist. Oh, that's twist. the same thing, yeah. Because yeah. it will move with you, but if you pull it quick, it'll snap. So you've got to But tape worms, it can break up. And you, so a little That's bit it. of tape worm forms a big tape worm. So you've got to really go slowly. And you end up with, it looks like one of those chingum things, you oh, know, in a roll. Oh, but everybody's got mites but you've in lost their weight. eyelashes. Yeah, e- everyone, that's right. Everyone. That's everyone. Right. We're just hoaching me stuff. Have you ever had <sighs> a hair lice? Yes. You had them, I thought, mm-hmm. as much. Because I always used to say it was a, it was the only, like, clean hair. No. Nah, like, that's, that's a lie. Why? What did they eat in a clean head of hair? That's it. That's a lie. But it was, uh, actually, it was... Was it quite itchy? Uh, it was really terrible, actually. Oh. It was my, the, the American girl I was going to marry oh, <laughs> in Vegas no, no, for a laugh. Those lice weren't on your hair. She come across mm. with lice. Oh. But their lice are a lot bigger than the ones here. <laughs> like, like 20 pence pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you could just, you, if they were moving, you just went like that and grabbed them. They were that big. Oh. But just covered it in baby oil and it was gone in a day. I once saw a thing, and there was a, it must have been Channel 4, that a guy lying down mm-hmm. on a gurney and they had little vials with different kinds of lice. Right. So they just poured them on his stomach mm-hmm. and just instinctively, the the pubic lice headed down the way, yeah. the hair lice go up the That's way, incredible. and the body lice go for your oxters. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. How it's, the fuck does that work? I've seen um video of mm. a dog passing, and they've done that, an experiment, and they put the, the lice oh. on this mesh. Oh. And as the dog walked past, like a foot away, they, they're just bouncing across. Jesus Christ. It's, it's incredible. Have you, it's has cool. your cat had fleas? No. Oh, uh, oh no, yeah, actually. The, uh, but it has, it's but mental how they kick off. It's just, just instant. Instant. They go in the garden for a second. I think the eggs just lie there waiting. Yeah. It's like alien. Yeah. And they're just... Because I was uh, giving the cat Bob Martins and they don't oh, work. Bob Martins garbage. It's rubbish. So I went up and they went, this stuff, two days, all gone. All and gone. they were gone. But the eggs, you you have to check the little spots the cat lies and you'll yeah. see them and it's like confetti. It's, it's fuck. Yeah, I had to get the powder. The that's whole house ingenious. was done. That's and, ingenious. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. When I was in the jungle, um, the leeches. Oh, when you're they going, come towards you. Yeah, when you're going past the tree, they're all sticking out straight, trying to reach, and then they'll fall like rain. Fly down. Just drop on you. They'll land on your I've head. I've had a leech. I bought them. Um, so cool. For an art exhibition. Oh, oh. I bought medicinal leeches mm-hmm. and I had them and I was transferring them from one container to the next and I got one on my finger and I just I just watched it in fascination and yeah, it's, just it swelled up the blood. just loved it never had a meal like me before I didn't get like, any because I was covered in deet deet <laughs> or whatever the hell it was that's that smell I used to want to be a guy that always covered himself in emac and it's bod, top of his what? head to the ends of his toes emac emac hairless but his skin had that raw look of like a freshly hatched bird. Oh. You can see all the veins through his skin. That's like my mate when she got her breast implants. Uh-huh. She had no breasts at all. Right. And then she got these She must plastic. have had something. No, there was nothing. Just, just nipples? Just, nothing. just nipples, essentially. Just nipples, uh-huh. And when she got them, it looked, it looked like a baby bird's eye. It was oh. just red and angry and veiny. And I was... Uh, and she goes, what do you think? And I was... Oh. Oh. It looked like Is a couple of Is that still a big thing? Do people still cakes? like the big Well, that was tits. the number one operation in this country. For a while, was yeah. it? But, but I, to, I don't know now. You only get a few years out to get a new set. Get a new set. Th- That's not good. The, the thing is, right, I've got to get this operation for a hernia. Oh, is it? Oh. And it's kind of scary to do an operation. I'll it's do a it big for you. deal. I'll no, do it for you. please don't. I'll do it for you. So I'll, wa- I'll even wash my hands. I think elective surgery is kind of scary. 
Will you be in nine miles? They'll, no, they'll probably send you to Strathcathro. Well, I'm not getting the operation. I'm going to have to pay for it. Why are you not getting it? Because they don't do hernias now. Why they, not? They called mine a, a, a minor hernia. I said, don't worry about it. And I said, but look at it. It's all. And they went, yeah, it's nothing. It's, it, we don't do the operations anymore. There's nothing to worry about When there. did that stop? Uh, a couple of years ago. About, oh, I that... think, three, four years ago. So I no, must have been. Your hernia uh-huh. is different. That was on the front. <laughs> Like uh, in the belly Is your her- hernia on your forehead? No, mine's is on the fucking in, in the groin, just the normal There's nothing spectacular about no. it And they said that And even then the specialist He went, oh, that's nothing okay. He goes, let's give you but an you're examination you're determined but to get you You're unhappy with it It's uncomfortable Oh, is it? And like, I love riding my bike in that You can't Oh, no And if you tear it further Because Probably the Probably riding I got the it, bike's giving you the hernia in the first I fell bit. on the bike And uh-huh. the handlebar okay. And I got a scan Uh-huh and they said you were in- essentially impaled. Oh. Because it went up. And I've got these lines going all the way up my stomach mm. where it's, it's healed. And and they said, so when did this happen? And I said, well, it was like 20 years ago. But I thought mm-hmm. when I, I landed, because I, I'd done a backflip on the bike. Sure enough, yeah. Yeah, no, wait. Okay. BMX this is the worst bandits. part. When I was really pleased, I jumped off the bike in celebration. But kept hold of the handlebar and landed on the handlebar. Did it go? And for a split second, I was hovering. Oh, I can <laughs> right feel in my that. groin, right in your perineum, right in, right in the front there, right, right above at the dick root. Okay. And it swole up. It wasn't swollen. It cut it open. Oh. And I thought for years, and then Have you ever I seen got, inside a, a bollock? What it looks like? No. The um, I don't. There's I, a guy called Matthew Fell. I was at school at. And uh, he got kicked in the balls playing football, and his oh, his bollocks split, and it looked like I can't believe it's butter. <laughs> it was just yellow. Try it at home. Anybody's want to look? Just split open your. When I split open testicle. my head, uh-huh. and I, I thought, oh God, my skull's there because uh-huh. the, oh, you know yeah. my, my mate was saying I can see your skull, and I thought I'd look at it, and it'd just be like this white skull. No. but it was yellow, and it was yeah. all yellow around Nic- it, all the fat. Nicotine stained. <laughs> yeah. Old <laughs> old nicotine Old plaque covered brain oh, But you can't f- I'm led to believe if, if you're operating on your brain You can't feel it That's right Yeah, You can't feel anything inside That's the brain no. mm. The human fat I've seen stuff where they're taking fat out of people in operations And it is It's a yellow It's, 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 it's not it a nice It tastes stuff. quite good A little bit of that and butter but Instead of butter on your toast Yuck <sighs> Milk mm-hmm. It's so fatty When you, you have rice pudding the, the fat floats to the top oh, and it's yellow. Oh, I'd love to taste it. It's great. It's oh, like sugar. Is it? It's like sugar. It's mm, it's really good. Because you get butter tea, yeah, and they just, yeah, the people. Don't, uh, right, if you ever go to Nepal. Don't have the butter tea. My favourite That's the first thing ever, I would try. Don't fucking have it because it's salted. I you love go, that. Mm, mm. I, I, no, but see, that appeals to me. Oh, I was, I, oh, oh, it's the way, I'd waited I put a so little long sprinkle, to have it. I put a little sprinkle of eh, salt in my coffee in the morning. Mm-hmm. Essential for the I day. was hanging about with the, the porters and the guides because I was having a laugh. Mm-hmm. And if you have a laugh, you're godly there. So you're seen as good luck. So I had this <laughs> little entourage because I was dicking around. And I had, and everyone's uh-huh. hanging about me. Uh-huh. So Did they I, put you in a wee shrine? Uh, not quite. But I did gone, they keep you there for a while? We had oh, longer than I expected. <laughs> but if, all the tourists would have their meal in the wee restaurant mm. bit, and the guides and that they would have it. And it, honestly, it's like a fucking stable. Do you know what I mean? They right. would go and sit there. So I, I joined them, and that was that was cool. Couldn't get all the food, and they were telling me for altitude sickness. Mm. Right? They say go slow. Right? If you feel a headache, stop. Give yourself half an hour; it'll be gone. But here's our cure. A Snickers with a clove of garlic in it, right? And I went, I'll give it a go. I sat there eating that shit, swallowing my vomit for about half an hour because I didn't want to offend them. I think they've been playing a little trick on I you. feel the work because I was the only one eating it. And they were laughing. They were so happy. No, they're all... Treating you like a god, eh? They were all eating it. I was going to say you got treated worse than Jesus, but no, Jesus got, <laughs> he got treated he quite got, badly. He got more than garlic. <laughs> he got more than a garlic Snickers. But no, I Did got... you call that Snickers or a marathon? You called that fucking Snickers. Well, it was. It said Snickers on it. They're a marathon. Snickers. And shall never change. Yeah. <gasps> I got into trouble for... Now, I'm not going to say it, mm. but using... In a, in a America, when I was there, when they laughed, they uh-huh. snicker. We say something different. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Do they snicker? Yeah, they snicker. Okay. And they say tidbit 
instead of tidbit. And that tidbit, was you just think, a Victorian right. change. Tidbit. Because it was Puritans took the word out. They didn't like tit. They didn't like tit. They didn't. So, I, it, so it's tiddy bum. No, it'll be tiddy. Everything's tiddy, tiddy bum. Tiddy, tiddy bum. That's why you see your tiddies. Check your tiddies. And oh. I uh, said, I was around a kid and they dropped their dummy tit. And I said their dummy tit. Fuck's sake, it was like a shit on their dinner plate. Everyone, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody whoa. at the party, I didn't include, even think. Everybody in the party, including the kids, have got a holster and a, a gun in it. But heavens forbid you say tit. It, well, yeah. It was Could like you leave? That. I said the dummy tit. I said that to a girl once. Her name, Sharmilla. Who cares? She does, she's a fucking cunt. And I was friends with her. Mm-hmm. And she was studying it. Um, uh, St Andrews University. I know you've got you have a lot of female friends, but the friendships never last. I tend to leave them. Mm-hmm. The friendship, and oh, this is something I need to talk to you about friendships. I've only realised something recently. I'll go to that next. Uh-huh. And we're just talking. We're having a lovely time. We're in the uh, the the Tudor Inn, which is long gone. Lovely little dive. Okay. And I didn't really go to pubs, but that was the only place I ever went to. No. I didn't drink or anything. So yeah. having I drink a coke, she's having her bellies. Oh. We're having a lovely talk. And I said, and she's going, what the hell happened to you? I'm all caught up. She said, oh, I was out on my bike and mm-hmm. jumping and I oh. went arse over tit. And I, and I didn't realise he even said it, but this set off this rant of sexism, misogyny, because I said it. And I'd, I had no idea what I What's said. What's wrong with the word tit? Well, this is it. And she says, because uh, it's, you're comparing women to pigs. And I'm like, oh, pigs? oh Canadian girl. Okay. Now she. This was the nineties. This was the late nineties, and this the was 90s the start. Were awful though. This is the start of this woke world that she was learning. Okay. Because she would only go to a gay and lesbian hairdresser to show solidarity, and I went, a hairdresser, and she went, that's sexist, and I went, what? That what? Wouldn't that be homophobic? And she goes, what, are you saying you're being homophobic? And I went, well, no, no, <laughs> and I just got myself deeper and deeper. By trying to go, no, I'm not, you know. I used the word homophobic, therefore was homophobic. Oh, right, okay. And I was like, what? And this was the, and now, I used to tell people about this girl, Mm -hmm. that she was so insane, that it was all about, you know, she would only support women, and men are born sexist and racist and violent and killers. Mm -hmm, Okay. And I'm like, what? And I would tell people about this girl, and and they thought it was made up. Yeah. Now it's a standard. Okay. You get this e- extreme wokeness. We're not talking just people, yeah, no, progressives. We're talking extreme wokeness. It did exist. It would be a full-time job looking for the flaws in others. Oh, God, it's so tiring. It's, it can, yeah, it can be a little bit tiring. I've, yeah. But yeah, flawed. I, everyone's flawed. Look, some when, people are absolute cunts. And it's like, you hear some people, and uh, they're somewhat irredeemable. But if someone, and it happened recently, said something a bit racist, mm-hmm. I don't put them beyond the pale and go, they're fucking scum. Why not talk to them? Yeah. Why not just... Well, I don't like talking. I don't like talking to nice people. I don't, so like, I don't, I like, don't like talking in general, but I no, don't feel no. saying, I hate you because you... The, there's a, it there's, doesn't work. There's, a, there's, a, there's an argument. You, know. that you just On Twitter, for example, you just block people. Oh, if it's don't, nasty don't, and don't, not, don't, I block don't, people. Don't, don't connect with them because it's yeah. just... You find yourself... Yeah, your hackles rise and some yeah. people on Twitter and you think, why am I... Mm-hmm. Why respond? Yeah. There's no point. Doesn't doesn't root, doesn't help anything. Twitter's a fun, it's a fun place, but it's a strange place simultaneously. It is, and it's, it's not the world at all. Look, it's no, it's not. No. And everybody's this scoring show, points. This show, we when we first started talking, we found out very quickly there's very there's basics, there's mm-hmm. fundamentals to who you are. Like we hate racism mm-hmm. and sexism and bigotry in any form. Yeah, yeah. We're both pretty progressive people. Yeah, like, yeah. I would say. I would say so. But we also make fun of everyone, mainly ourselves. Yeah, and this is where we base the show. Which is all an art, because really we're, we're as close to perfection. It's like we're, cri- I, we're crystalline beings. You're close. Crystalline beings. Oh, this is... The, right. It's difficult to walk well, You know how last this. week... I'm, I've realised I'm a genius now. Oh. Because remember last week I figured out evolution and that doesn't oh, need yeah, to be you worried got, about yeah, now. Yeah, it's yeah, done. You, you figured that it's one over, out. It's mm-hmm. over, right? I figured out the meaning of life. Okay, let's hear the it. The great question. Okay. Okay, I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. What's the meaning of life? Let's hear it. No, that's the answer. Oh. No. We're the only sentient being that asks the question. No, that's not true. Elephants. They don't ponder the meaning of life. Yes, they do. 
How do you know? They do. Evidence. Elephants, when they come across Mm -hmm. the skeleton of an elephant. Yes. They examine it, they remember it, Uh they they ponder it. They are aware of mortality. That's true. So they must think, what's But the next step beyond that is, what's it all about? What's it but there's, there's no difference from us. It's philosophical. Yeah, us and... Because uh, we're, we're dust in the wind. We yeah. don't count in the well, universe. Like a, a nematode worm, just go, one of the most numerous animals on yeah. the planet, just goes about, food in one end, shite out the next. Like you. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? And that's it. But any... The greatest act... can People have built palaces mm-hmm. to their bloody madness and their ego. Yeah. They the think their name will live through time and history forever. Want, Nothing. And I don't want mine to. For I on. don't want any of that. I thought the other day, eh, when I was quite young, people went on about the Beatles a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't hear so much talk of the Beatles now. No, they're do. done. It, it, it fades. So even in my lifetime, it fades. And they won't know what sticks. Yeah. Like eh, Hitler's a big one. Yeah. They're always going about Hitler all the time. Mm-hmm. But eventually it'll They'll fade just be into, forgot about, yeah. Who was the guy, who was the, can all those in the 1920s, can the silent movie stars? Valentino. Valentino was incredibly famous. When he died, yeah. the streets were lined with mourners, yeah. utterly forgotten. Completely Cha- forgotten. Charlie Chaplin. Yes. He's ca- he's pretty much... He liked them for- young. Yeah, he liked them young. His body was dug up and stolen. Oh, God, what would you do with that? Yeah, but people like, I said there's some young person working in one of my jobs the other day, and I was speaking about Michael Caine, and they had no like, like Michael Hill. Yeah, the, so there's, everything kind of gets... It will fade. And I think there's something kind of beautiful in that, the way the universe works. Yeah. But as creatures, mm-hmm. to say, what is the meaning of life? That is in itself an answer. Yeah. No. So you... We're all stardust, we're at that point, mate. We're all stardust. We're all stardust. But we are, we are now at the point as a being where we can experience ourselves... Oh, I experienced myself I know, quite I, a I lot. Knew, I shouldn't have said that. I quite knew it was going. a lot. But we can think of the universe, and mm. our brain is not at the point to conceptualise it. No, yet. no, isn't it's, that wonderful? It's too, yeah, it's too. No. So but we're at this. It never. We're at this. We're at, the, we're at stage. the limits of what? 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 I don't think people are going to get any smarter. I think they will. No, they'll have to. They'll have to. Put like some microchips in yeah, your head. Yeah, but that's it. We'll get smarter. And a thought will, instead of Alexa, to be in your head and you'll be yeah. able, thoughts will become technology, won't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, that's inevitable. That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? That'd be, I think it would be great. Would you like to remember, um, imagine if mm-hmm. you could just remember a delicious meal and then you could taste it all again. I'm not a fan of food, so. No, you're not. I don't. Something you would like. Imagine if you could remember. <laughs> Getting on a, <laughs> wait, 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 here it is. Three foot left. Oh, it breaks smooth. It's slow, but it's steep. And I just take off on it. That's about. a fucking wave. And I'm going down this wave. And as I'm going down the wave, a mermaid pokes up. And she goes, look, look at a this. Mermaid. I've got one of these Belgian buns for you. And I go, thanks very much. And I'm going down this wave eating this Belgian bun. And standing on the beach, would, there's a T-Rex filming it. You would it. have glitches. Oh. But the mermaid in your dream would not be Daryl Hannah. It would be a manatee with lipstick on. And <laughs> you'd be like, Hello. have you seen a the manatee? manatees have a blowhole? Uh, no, they've no. nostrils. They've have nostrils. you seen a manatee in a certain position? It's got a feminine shape. That's where they reckon the um, they've got breasts. Yeah, but it looks like legs and everything. Okay. It's quite amazing okay. in a certain uh-huh. angle. I'm sure I saw a manatee monthly magazine <laughs> lying about here. Well read. Manatee jugs. My, they're also called dugongs. Dugongs. Or sea, sea cows. Sea cows, yeah. Yeah, I'm they're just, a wonderful animal. You, you, if you're used to the Dundee lady, you just go straight onto a manatee, no problem. Yeah. It's very easy. I was going Dundee, to say something Dundee to you. ladies. What was it? What were we talking about? I was well, I'll come to that later. You but said you're a genius. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks for agreeing. No, you you said you're a genius. Uh-huh. You've, the meaning of life, you give some vague answering. It's not vague. I think you came upon that concept. Of, I think your bath I was in the bath. was a little bit I too was, hot. I was in the bath. You do your best thinking in the bath. Oh, a burn, a burn. I had blisters on my knees once. If it came so when you've got a full bladder, it gives you a sense of urgency. I do a lot of thinking when I'm going to the bog. Mm-hmm. It just sparks a little concept. When you're walking down the road, Mm-hmm. And you got your headphones in. I don't wear headphones. I'm, I've got to be ready at all times. 
Oh, right. Or I attack. have headphones. Oh, oh right. see, I think this is where it is. I have headphones and mm. I'm really waiting. You get really, you're looking oh, around because okay. you're like that. Mm. And I start thinking really deep, important deep thoughts. thoughts. It'll change humanity. On our new website, it'll be, yeah, and uh-huh. you'll get this insight and I can change people's lives just by listening to they will they UK. will enhance i'm oh. the next stage in evolution we're moving to derek 2.0 oh my god, god the madness firmware man. update oh. yeah oh my gosh no more glitches no glitches and that you, wobbling you, leg will stop can you imagine you could just go purely vr you could download That's i don't have to sit across from anything just a yeah. computer screen I could put on the VR things yeah. and you'd be there. Like the lawnmower, man. Yeah, but not that quality. It'll be a bit... No, it'll be worse. Lower, lower. It'll be like Metal Mickey. Metal Mickey. Who's that thing? Mickey in, Dolan's. Mickey Dolan's. Remember the thing in Buck Rogers? There was there was Tweaky or whatever his name was. Yeah, and then there was the plastic You're doctor. The plastic doctor Theodopolis. That's it. Was he Dr. Theodopolis? Dr. Theodopolis. <laughs> Just some perspective. Well, Bucks, don't be a prick. I've figured this out. Uh, oh. Stop wearing so much fucking lycra. He had a right. He, he was like a, a the poor man's William Shatner, wasn't he? Oh, he had a punch. Gil Gerard. Gil. Is he still no. with us? I think he is. He must be like. He'd be in his seventies yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. He only did that. Will Madeiring. Will Madeir. I like Princess. Oh yeah. She would have tortured you, wouldn't she? If they're evil in a film, I always went for them. The black hair, they always had black hair. Uh-huh. The goodies had blonde hair, the uh-huh. chicks. Yeah. The baddies had black hair. What I always go for, black uh-huh. hair. But you you really want to be like in Princess Leah outfit, chained, and some women's leading you about like a wee dog. I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's no, your future. I'm not, I'm uh-huh. not. I get too um, claustrophobic. If there's a heavy, yeah. If there's a heavy uh, duvet on me, I start freaking out. Oh, for God's sake! I really do. Yeah, it's just silk sheets. Um, sateen. Sh- shite doesn't really stick to silk sheets. It just runs. You flick off. it. You flick it off. straight off. Oh, oh, skid marks can just be picked away. Oh God! Let it dry. Uh huh. Pick it away. So this 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 online cul-de-sac that's going to be the the website. Yeah. Have you got some design ideas? Cause, I do. Oh God Almighty! I do. It's going to be dynamic. We want to create a community, don't we? A free space where we're like-minded individuals, uh-huh. geniuses, genii, uh-huh. genies. Well, I've communicated with some of the listeners. I, I think I know who you're talking about. Some of them stand out. Proud, <laughs> they do stand out. <laughs> they stand out. We know, I know who you're talking about. You know what happens to the tallest weeds though in the garden? The other ones they get. Oh, that's a true. Weed, weed, a, a weed whacker. So we need the shortest weeds. Yeah. Everyone, just balance your weedishness. And on this website, mm-hmm. it'll be a community of oh, like-minded individuals, like forfer. Like forfer. Like this is like it's like dogging for the mind. Mind dogging. Mind dogging. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to Guys on this You don't have to bring a, a dog lead And pretend you've got a dog You don't need when to When you pretend. get caught by the police Just, just, just turn Leave up. the dog lead at home Turn up Turn up We can all I insist that when people are on the website They have to Donald Duck it Yes they're They're Wear a lovely t-shirt Like uh-huh. this one A tank girl Quite short Red dwar- Yeah cropped uh, red cropped, dwarf cropped t-shirt red, oh. And nothing else nothing That's all else. we expect just Sit in a Sit in a spar bag Bag for <sighs> life because the chairs will get... Oh, there's going to be a lot of skid marks on your gaming chairs. That's going to be for sure. There'll be non-gamers as well, though, just to make sure. No, not a lot. Not a lot of them, Christ almighty. The kind of um, gentlemen, who's mainly gentlemen, there's a lot of ladies. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, hold on. Ladies who, who listen to this. There's no, there's no decent people they're involved not, in they're this They're not enterprise. decent ladies. Well, when I do that, I'm referring completely to my partner. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lady... Lady, oh god, oh, she's 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 a rap scallion, so she is a rap no, scallion. See, uh, she'll love that. Oh, she'll love that. You're she'll, charming she'll, her. she'll have a wee giggle. Yeah, she has she met clapped, me, so she knows how charming. She clapped I, her hands her. gently like oh, that when you said, "Oh, she's quite chaotic." She went, oh. "Chaos, chaos, magic." Yes, yeah, I uh, yeah, because saying that we did that podcast about. I've been I've been losing a bit of sleep over it. The the 
the Masters of the Universe podcast. Oh, I Jesus think all Christ. our podcasts have been brilliant, apart from that one. That one, just, that was shit. That was shit. What I want to do, what I want them to do is, if if people can critique the critique, yes, I want people to contact me and tell me how shit it was. I think, and then the one that's the most convincing about how terrible that one is, uh-huh. I might, I'll handwrite them apology. Okay, that I'll sounds fair them enough. An apology. That will be a part, right? That will be a part mm-hmm. of the the yeah. website mm-hmm. where. Uh, but I make my own special ink. Is it invisible as well? What I do is I eat a lot of dark foods, oh. treacles, and then the jobby that comes out, it's like it's like pitch. That's and then like I, that anyway. It's like the pitch blood. black, <laughs> and then I, I'll I'll dip my quill into it. What, I beg your my pardon. Quill, oh, is and it I'll, I'll, I'll unveil them, a oh piece of my own God. skin. How about hard right, skin off my feet? I hear what you're saying, and I appreciate your mm. input into the website because it was terrible. This is what we need. But how about we use a bit of paper and a pen? I'll write there it. With my, I'll write it with this fancy pen. That right. pen. But it's got yeah. to be good, insightful advice. If not yeah. too personal. Well, you, every once a month, we can maybe send a lucky listener a personal apology. Yeah, and that's all you do. Twelve apologies a year. Yeah. That's a, that's a great idea. Isn't I it? like it. Yeah, that's a, a personal idea. apology. They'll have to send us their address and their bank details as of well. Of course, that's all. It's <laughs> their bank card, maybe. <laughs> Why not? Because you can trust us. Well, yeah, you can. How, but this website's going to be great. Hold on, for a second. How long can we just fleece them out all their money and then just shut up shop, just fuck off, just disappear? We could get two mannequins, just pop them here and play old shows. Wouldn't know. We've got enough done. They never wouldn't fucking know. know. We could be on. We could be lying in Barbados before anybody's any the wiser. That's true. I don't. I've seen some of the pictures, so they don't look like they've got money. Oh God. <sighs> we'll just have to stay and we need keep one, doing this. We need one milking cow. We need somebody that's one millionaire oh, that just one, goes. Just these some, two sexy motherfuckers. Yeah, somebody like a Simon Cowell. Yeah. Oh. Somebody we could just squeeze, just milk for all their their teats dirty are worth. Teats. big monetary teats can that smell money's got or or that's a great idea right. and again i'm hearing you mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll write a note mm-hmm. i'm hearing what you're saying and that's mm-hmm. a, a brilliant you know those you've women, added something to you know the those you know those women who are on the internet and they're like, i think as guys as well they have sugar daddies yeah oh god i would do it Ca- they're not called cash cows is that what a term is? for oh. them uh, yeah that's uh, all of these uh, yeah they don't realize it yet that's they've they're fallen under our influence. Wonderful our idea. Influence. Again, as I said, I will note this down and I will study the idea. It's mm. a, you've brought a lot to the meeting. Uh-huh. Or we can provide a great show where people can come along mm-hmm. and for a, a a couple of dollars a month, they can join it. As they always say in some other websites when they're desperately trying to squeeze money out of people, they yeah. say, it's a, it's, a, it's a cost of a cup of coffee. We're less than a cup of coffee. Less than a cup of coffee. We're well, less. Less than this. We're le- Ten pence. We're less than a cup of coffee, and you get exclusive podcasts. You and, get discounts on the merch. I, yeah. You may even get an apology letter. An apology a letter written, apology. written in my own feces ink. My ah, think. I'll make sure my feet. My fecal it's ink. Not, it will not. It will be non biohazardous. On toilet roll. <laughs> on toilet roll's fine. <laughs> on but toilet roll. A, an apology letter once a month's a brilliant idea. See, I'm yeah. taking on ideas. Yeah, this yeah. is great. Once a month. Once a month. And then a signed photograph. Oh, there'll be signed photographs. Can I've still got, ma- I've still got about a thousand. Oh, it's funny that. Yeah, they're on eBay. I've oh, seen you can't, you can give them away. I've got one because there was the mice and that and slugs coming in the little gap oh. under my door. It, you've been effective. It's been quite good. It does work. Yeah, well, I've got a lot of them, uh, uh-huh. but they're they're now slightly out of date. So I. Oh yeah, because yeah, you're in you're in your prime when you yeah. go and you've deteriorated. We've quite went, a, downhill so badly so we'll have to do new actually today Mm -hmm. we're doing a photo shoot we're doing a photo shoot of you for the website somebody said i should be wearing chaps i didn't know what to think about that some of these people's suggestions are slightly peculiar there's, I get I'm not few, naming names every now, I think I know who you're talking about Every now and then, maybe twice a month I get a suggestion And it's like, oh, I won't do that No, you've got some kind of standards When really we don't have any standards No standards at if all If somebody sent me a pie How, much is a, how much is a nice pie? I a have good no idea pie. 
one seventy five, something like that. I'm willing to do quite a lot. That's that's about two dollars. That's it. The price of a pie, a Dundee. Look up Dundee pie. I and like all, a chicken all, tikka. All come, all patrons. If you join on uh, uh, Patreon, you will uh, get automatic membership to the VIP you know, section you know of the new Daniel website. You know when Daniel O'Donnell so. used to open his house to people, and all the fans used to come in the bus. I wouldn't have any of them. We're not me. ever doing Jesus that shit. Fuck. Fuck, I, there'll always, be always be perspex, thick bullet grade perspex between me be. and these people. Oh my word. But of course we love you all. Well, no, definitely but all. Tolerate. They tolerate, vaguely our tolerate. enablers. Uh, but you see, the thing is, the ha- relationship with hand- an enabler. Handlers. Handlers. Is, it's a love-hate relationship mm-hmm. with an enabler. They're all, a, they're, they're the production team. That's it. They're all executive producers. We like them to, you've said this before, you like to be controlled. You like them to be, feel like they're part of this. They are part of it. We, this, this we don't exist Yeah. without them. I want to stop doing anything unless instructed to. I'm do, I'll eat what I'm told to eat. I'll wash. Really? Wait, so wait, wait. A salad. <laughs> a salad. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Deep fried salad. Just wrapped in a, do- you know that salad you get with a doner kebab? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, it's slightly, it's bit, slightly pickled. It's <laughs> slightly pickled. <laughs> On that note, oh god, that's, this is the one. Keep washing your balls. Wash your balls, dudes. Be safe. People are not washing their balls. I've been, t- I've been telling this. Chris Whitty was on the TV and he never mentioned. He never balls. mentioned it once. Wash your There's balls. There's not been the BBC. <laughs> I've never mentioned washing balls. My hands once. are on my nuts constantly. Oh Jesus I mean, Christ! Ah, oh, it's not good, isn't it? I a miss. I, miss I do miss my old ball smell a little bit. Yeah, that old familiar, comforting Fermented. ball smell, like kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and you are gentlemen, and you are ladies, no, no matter what we claim. Your troglodytes, homunculi, morlocks, a fucking lot of you. There, That's I've a reference it. to an H.G. Wells book. It is. Eh? Genii. Letters. Oh, it's going again. Fuck. Oh, I really... We got oh. to a point where that was a perfect ending there, and I fucking did it up. To your palsied fingers. Oh, and we're stopping.